Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and in today's video we are going to take a look at how to install Nextcloud in our EC2 uh, instance in Amazon. And for this purpose I have already created one EC2 instance and it's based on CentOS 7 operating system. You can uh, go to, uh, you can type this command etc os release and you can see that it's CentOS 7 version. Okay, once we have this running instance. Uh, the document I'm going to follow is on my website. It's uh, if you go to techo.net and click on blog. And then there's a post about setting up Nextcloud on CentOS 8 with Apache, Redis, PostgreSQL, SSL and PHP. However, we are going to install it on CentOS 7. Okay, few things. Uh, which we need to do is uh, first install epl release or epl repository on our uh, machine so you can copy this from here and run okay i have already installed these uh, so it's already there then you need to update it yum hyphen y update and once update is completed uh, you need to make sure that you run uh, you install some of the packages uh, like Apache, Yum Utils, Unzip, Mlocate, Bzip2, Vim, Wget. I have already installed these packages, so it's not going to ask me anything else. Uh, then we need to make sure that Apache is uh, installed and it's enabled and started. Okay, once this is done, make sure you have uh, enabled port 80 and 443 in firewall. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, you can do this by uh, firewall-cmd-add-port is equals to 80 slash tcp dash dash permanent permanent. <clears throat> And then firewall followed by firewall dash cmd firewall cmd dash dash reload and you can see that they are already enabled make sure to enable it in your ec2 security group as well otherwise it's not going to work once this is done you visit uh, uh, this is the domain name of my apache instance it's docserver.itpings.com once you have set up everything properly you would be able to see uh, the testing Apache page. Okay, perfect. Now what we need to do is, <clears throat> then we need to create this uh, virtual host. So you can copy all of this content, go to etc httpdconf.d and create a .conf file. So that's what I'm going to do. By the way, I've already done that. However, just to show you, and http v dash conf dot d okay and why conf dot d because if you visit http conf server file uh, you can just search for conf dot d and here you can see that everything which ends with the conf and it's in conf dot d will be included so the server file or the con server configuration file is going to read the content uh, okay, and now I'm going to create a file with the name of nextcloud.conf. I have already created it. I'm just going to rename it. Conf. And if we go inside this uh, file, you can see that virtual host, it's uh, telling you that uh, the virtual host is working on port 80. And then the document root is var www html nextcloud. So if it's uh, you need to create this Nextcloud directory in varww slash html. And here's the server name, the docserver.itpings.com. And then we start the directory require all granted. Require all granted means that uh, the server is allowed from all the IP addresses. Allow override all means that it's going to read all the .htaccess file. 
options follow sim links and multi view means that the apache will follow the symbolic links and multi views mean that if there's a request by the client and the content is not available the server will uh, try to present the client with the best possible match if module mod underscore dev dot c uh, then make it make sure that dev is off so basically web dev is a protocol which will make your web server act as a file server so just for security reason if this module is available make sure that dev is off then we will close the directory and close the virtual host once this is done you can save and exit <clears throat> okay then we need to make sure that mod ssl is installed we will use yum hyphen y install mod underscore ssl okay it's already installed perfect then we will add port 80 and 443 in our firewall which we have already done next we will add user next cloud and change the password so i have already add uh, user add next cloud so my user already exists and password we need to change for next cloud and you can give it any password let's say abc123 abc123 okay once please make sure you give it a strong password once this is done, you will make this user next cloud member of wheel group. And you can check with the command ID that this user is member of wheel group now. Here we can see that. Okay, perfect. Uh, then uh, we will go to our OPT directory and download. Uh, next cloud uh, from this link I have already done that you can see this and I'm going to unzip it here okay perfect now I need to move this content of next cloud let me check if we have this okay we don't so move next cloud to var www html and then make sure ch own dash r apache and apache okay you know what Let's, yeah here Apache Apache so user and the group is Apache www and everything under it so if we go to www HTML and perfect <clears throat> so this is done uh, next thing is uh, we need to make a data data directory and it should be outside of next cloud so i'm going to make it data here okay this is done we will restart Apache and if all goes well it's not going to give you any error perfect uh, next thing is we need to install PHP 7.4 so over here you can see it's for release is 8 but what we are going to do is just copy this and change it to 7 This is for CentOS 7. Okay, once this is done, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we enable this Remy repository with the command of 
yum config manager enable remy php 74 okay once this is done we will install uh, php and some packages and all the packages i'm going to use our mb string php php gd so all these packages just copy them okay once this is um, you can see all the packages here php intel php packle all these packages are are going uh, will be installed press enter and you can see it's reading from remy 74 and once this is done php-v will reveal that it's php 7.4 perfect now we are going to install redis it's an open source cache uh, utility or software yum-y install redis okay good then we are going to um, enable redis and start uh, Redis server by systemctl enable Redis. And systemctl start. Okay, good. Now we need to install PostgreSQL and we are going to use this link. But I have already for CentOS 7, we are going to install it from EL7 link. enter okay now once this is done we are going to use <clears throat> yum dash config manager dash dash enable and able pgd g13 okay and yum install postgresql postgresql 13 Yes, we want this and PostgreSQL uh, 13 server. Okay, great. What else? Then we need to start and enable PostgreSQL. And first thing is, let me minimize this. We need to initialize the database. So to do that, user pgsql13 bin postgresql13 setup. And init database. Okay, good. System CTL enable PostgreSQL 13 and start it. Great. We can check the status. Perfect. It's working. Now we need to set up password and need to switch the user. So first is uh, passwd postgres. Okay, and password, you can set up any password. Uh, let's call it abc123, same password, abc123. Okay, now we will switch to user Postgres. Go 
okay and here we are in the uh, postgre postgres uh, database okay now we are going to create some uh, user with the password abc123 so we are going to create a user let's call it next cloud user and the password is abc123 okay user is created then we are going to create database like create database next cloud db okay good then we are going to give it some privileges grant all pr privileges on database nextcloud db to nextcloud user perfect that's it we are going to exit it and then okay now we need to go to this uh, configuration file of our pgsql <clears throat> and make sure that the connection is allowed Okay, uh, we need to make sure that uh, IP version 4 local connection uh, is with, just go to hosts. Over here, you can see that uh, host all, all, and it's SCRM SHA-256 and this is fine and we can use MD5 here as well so, but this is fine okay now this once this is done we need to restart PostgreSQL systemctl restart post sql 13 Okay, perfect. Now we are going to use, uh, we are going to install uh, Let's Encrypt for SSL. And for that purpose, we are going to use SnapD. So let's check if SnapD will work here. Okay, good. <clears throat> System CTL enable enable snapd system CTL start snapd then snap install core okay once this is installed we need to make a symbolic link from var lib snapd snap to root of snap okay once this is done we need to install snap install dash dash classic cert bot great and then we will use cert bot dash dash apache so it's not able to find cert bot command cert utils 
Okay. But we installed it. Snap install dash dash classic and cert port. Okay, you know what? Let's go to our let's encrypt. <clears throat> So it's pretty simple. I don't know why I used SnapD because of uh, this center eight. Okay, let's get started. Um, Third bot. So snap support. Okay, snap refresh core. Let's try to refresh it. Third port is already there. Okay. Oh, yeah. this is the problem actually. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now I need to give it, let's say, enter email learning or admin. Let's call it admin. I agree. No. Um, yep. Which name would you like to activate HTTPS? Number one. So there's an error, the following error, domain, type connection. Okay, perfect. Congratulations. We have our working uh, SSL system now. System CTL HTTP do restart. Sorry about that. It's an old command. Okay, now we should have our HTTPS and start of HTTP. And there we have it, perfect. But this is not complete yet, so the certificate is valid and you can see it's by Let's Encrypt. Okay, perfect. What's next? Okay, and then we can just open your browser and type 
this address of your machine and you will see the screen but it's not complete yet so the server was not able to complete your request if this happen again please send the technical bill, uh, details to okay what is the problem okay guys so i was able to solve the problem um, basically the first thing was se linux so i changed it to permissive and then i was having like continuous problem with the same error and server exceptions so what i did was if you go to this directory slash var slash www html next cloud and config you will see that uh, it will create a config file actually like this and if something is wrong you need to uh, recreate that config file or delete that config file so what i did is i just uh, removed or renamed that config file and this time if i go to this so the this url now i'm back so i need to create an admin account with the password let's say and then of course i will and this time actually i have changed my uh, database uh, data folder as well and it is you can see it's in war www html okay so this is the directory var wwhtml i need to change it from next cloud it's like this then i'm using postgresql database user is next cloud user so how do i know that if i go to So here it is next cloud user and database password is itpings.com I changed it and database name is next cloud db let me confirm list database next cloud db first complete this okay now this is done and now i'm going to click on finish setup i hope everything will work fine this time it's taking some time so let's see if it's pop populating the data directory yes it is Perfect. This is a good sign. It's installing the recommend, uh, recommended apps. And that's why it's taking some time. So I hope if everything goes well, we will have a running cloud instance. Perfect. And there we have it. It's still installing Collabra Online. Actually, uh, one thing, guys, uh, try not to install this Collabra Online because it will use a lot of resources. It's going to consume a lot of resources and it will make your cloud really slow. I have a very bad experience with this on one of, uh, not with Amazon, uh, with one more cloud um, provider. So, anyway, you need to check. Uh, if it's working fine with your cloud provider or uh, your local machine but i had really bad in uh, like bad experience with this collabor online i'm going to disable it anyway so let's wait it's installing talk and the recommended apps would be installed in a moment okay we have our running next cloud server you can see it's now opening the dashboard and there we have it perfect click on files
Okay, great. So we have a running Nextcloud uh, Nextcloud server on our Amazon EC2 instance. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in our next video. Till then, goodbye and God bless.